Oh, that's cool. What's going on, Western New York and the rest of the world on YouTube? WNYRC with the RC Flight Simulator 9.5, Real Flight 9.5. Wanted to make a video today talking about the editing capabilities when it comes to an airport. You can edit a previous airport that's already out there just to get acclimated to it or actually start fresh uh, with a blank slate and create an airport uh, from scratch with the items that have been pre-populated or uploaded in there. Um, so I don't really see a lot of video content on that. So if you know or see any, uh, please feel free to uh, link some stuff down below because I really only find it in forums in the manual itself. Uh, finding some things and tips and tricks on how to do this. So uh, I created this airport here, which is just our local, uh, my local uh, airfield here, which I'm planning to actually join in and hopefully get over in the summertime here soon. Uh, let me switch over to this here. And I'll just fly around with it quick with you. Actually, I'll just fly behind it so you can see. So yeah, runway, I added all these trees, uh, some vehicles, got our parking lot here, an antenna. In uh, soccer fields, house over there, road. Uh, I didn't get really beyond the road. There's a couple things over here, like, uh, you know, we got a little VFW post with, uh, if you're over there and they got a tank and airplane and stuff, well, lo and behold, there's a couple things like that in here. There's a tank. So uh, I went ahead and you'll see it here. I added it over here. So um, there's a train track. I mean, they don't have the tracks in, this, in the game here, and uh, they just had one train car. So I just threw that down there. But little hill flat area I have just generic clouds early on I did actually take a panoramic shot of the uh, airstrip it, itself and didn't really uh, like too much how it looked it wasn't the greatest it was winter time when I took it but it helped me lay everything out know where kind of how everything was I also Google map satellite shot the top of it and then I'll show you a, co a comparison of the uh, the two where I helped just kind of get the tree lines where everything kind of sat but but um anyways yeah so this is one i created let me just shut off the remote here and uh, i'll go into the editing now this is just going to be a snapshot of the editor because for some reason if i was trying to live stream the editor uh, what it would do is just kind of flicker between the game and the editing software so you get up to the top and there, there'd be a screen up here where it's, you know, environment. You can either just change or edit the um, environment, the airport that you're on. And that might be a good starter way. I'm really starting off just by getting hands on with it. And really, again, forums and just kind of the manual itself. Um, a really good thing is just kind of figuring out uh, here over here, your layout. This is typically how it looked when you uh, originally started up. These two folders here is everything that's been uploaded in the system for a 3D item. So everything I've used in here is a pre-populated 3D item. It says there's custom objects. There's only a few things in there. I did find a YouTube video where someone way beyond my knowledge of stuff was actually talking about how to create from files 3D objects and actually upload those type of files into here, which is awesome. But I just just, you know, not my... Uh, extent of knowledge on knowing how to upload 3d images in here but uh, lo and behold this kind of the aerial view of what I created you will start off by choosing the items from over here in the right and then it'll add over here it'll just keep adding individual items if you just don't uh, add files uh, I should have been a little bit better here but you can create like I did create a tree file so anything I did with a tree you'd have multiple files within it so you do kind of start off with just a couple trees, right? You just pick your types of trees, but what ends up happening is you get different folders. So uh, if you're copying and pasting, every time you copy and paste, you can, you know, it gets larger. So now I have this whole red area here that I can move, uh, position, rotate in any sort of way that I want, or I can copy and paste that and it almost like duplicates it, right? Um, so a little bit of hotkeys is a big thing too, learning the keyboard. It's a little tricky and cumbersome. If I use my mouse on here and then you click on the screen itself, you would have to hit the Z button to be able to actually click something like this red and move it around, right? And you're moving items. Then if you hit the X button, that will give you almost like a uh, side 
um, shifting or up and down type scenario where you, and you always plus and minus will zoom in really close too. So it's like a pan is the X button. C is your traditional kind of click on the screen and drag the screen around to get where you want to go. And I think V is like a flight type simulator thing. Uh, I don't use V too often as a, as a viewing mode. But every time you go to click or move something, an item that you have placed on your in your world, on your map, you always have to hit the Z button um, because it, it, in, that's like you got to jump in between. So if you want to move around and look closer at something, you kind of have to use the pan and the C button. But if you go to click on something, you always have to hit that Z button. There is, you know, tools at the top you can click on, like the, uh, I think it's view or options up here. But use those hotkeys, it'll speed you up a little bit. Every item that you click on here that you added from these folders, as you move them in and place them, you can change anything's directional, uh, you know, orientation. You can add something like an, a fake RC airplane or something like this here. So this fence, like right here, this screen is just showing you I place this as my starting point. This is where I, as a person, am standing. I have a helicopter start place here, an airplane start place here. You can, again, move all this stuff. But um, say I want to rotate this, right? You could do that. Maybe you have a fake airplane that you want to work on, uh, have it sit on a picnic bench. So there's like an XYZ axis, uh, axis that you can type in. I think Z is like height off the ground, where you can like, all right, I want that three feet off the ground. And now it moves that... RC airplane and it makes it look like it's sitting on top of a picnic bench. So, um, you know, I'll, I'll show you at the end here some of the zoomed in stuff really quick, but uh, on how all that detailed stuff looks. But this is another example here. So this is just a, this parking lot, it's really just a single slab of a, uh, of a um, runway that was in the 3D files over here. You can change the scale. Where you're going to change the XYZ axis and orientation is all that stuff right here in this white box that my actual face is covering. Um, that has a, every time, every item you click on here will open up the details here. I just changed the scale of this from like 100 to like 2,500 or 2,000 and just made it a huge thing. And I'm like, you know what, that'll look good like a uh, um, parking lot. Or there's a mountain, it looks like a big hill over there. I mean, it's not a mountain, it's a big hill. But it was literally a small dirt patch that was in this file. And then again, I just upped that scale to like 3,000. I didn't, it looked too much like a mountain, so I actually dropped it. I went negative height. You know how I talked about you can raise something up like three feet? We can go negative. And I dropped it down so it looked, you know, a little bit smaller of a hill without changing the scale too much. I just wanted the top of it. Um, you can also, when spinning something, you know, you go 90 degrees, 45. You can also go negative, so like negative 45 degrees um, if you have to turn it, if you want it a specific way. Um, I'm trying to think real quick, just trying to go through everything as quick as possible. But endless possibilities. I don't really know this 100%. There's still things that get me where, here, I'll hop over to the um, simulator again. Hop back over to the gameplay setting. Got the hotkeys up. That's the H button. There's a lot you can do on the hotkeys, uh, different view cameras, a lot of things that, you know, I don't really see on a lot of um, YouTube videos on all the little details here. But as I go through it, I definitely want to be sharing this on the platform where, uh, where the editing side of it was. Give you an idea, like here is where we were. Let me start over here. That's the X button. See, X button uh, sends you to different like X marks the spot. Um, this is our starting spot, and this is exactly where I had it predetermined on my editor. You can have multiple X kind of restart spots, especially in this huge world that we're in. I got a map up here. Uh, it doesn't even nearly cover what it is. But anywho, if you hit like W, uh, you can start walking, and uh, you can start looking around, those type of things, which is really cool. Use the mouse, and then you can start seeing all the details here of the things that I've thrown in here just for detail purposes. This plane here... Uh, to the right is kind of what I want to have to I have to change and add the access of a height of about three feet on it so it looks like it's sitting on top of the uh, bench and uh, yeah you can add the, I used to have the panoramic view around the outside of the sky here uh, it didn't look great so um, may, might try a different picture in the future and uh, yeah you can walk around here you got your planes you know as you walk you can always start and take off from a different area too 
And uh, yeah, um, definitely need to be getting better at this. It's not something that I shared online yet on the swap pages or anything like that. Um, before I get a little better, at, I'm not sure if you can see that. You see that seagull? Again, the, the quality on this video that you're seeing is not the quality of the gameplay. It is a little bit watered down for the streaming purposes of this, but uh, that was a cool little 3D object. You can add different heights, 15, 10 feet in the air, whatever, and I got a bunch of seagulls kind of just flying around here because we're over by Lake Erie uh, and thought that was pretty cool to throw that stuff in. So anyways, um, hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you made it this far, please uh, give a like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you guys are up to. If you guys have any questions or insight, that's the, always thing, the other thing. I, mean, I just want to be learning about this stuff. I'm not the greatest learner by sitting and reading content like this. I learn by videos or uh, just doing some hands-on stuff. So we'd love to see if there's any other content out there so that we can make this a little bit easier and hopefully we can look to see a bunch of other people's uh, airports. And if anyone wants to fly this airport, you know, comment, let me know, reach out. I could do a, you know, a multiplayer and have you fly around. We could chat there. So... All right, I'll catch you on the next video. I appreciate y'all, and uh, have a good one.